Welcome back. It's Thursday, which means it's time for another EDC Weekly. And yes, I just uploaded a video two days ago, and here's a new one. I'm actually on top of things and not sleeping much. But still, EDC Weekly. I have been going through all of the submissions. There are a ton of them. Of course, I say that every week. But I had to pick a theme. I just wanted to... And the theme this week was not specific to any gear. It's the best damn photos that have been shared this month, and they are great. Some of them have already been featured on Instagram, and I hate kind of double featuring like that, but really, these deserve it. They're great pictures. And before we get into it, I do want to say that I'm going on vacation next week. I'm still going to be making the EDC Weekly, uh, but it'll be in a different setting, and I don't know exactly how elaborate it's going to get because I'm editing from a laptop, and I've not done that in a very long time. And I'm not going to have all of my resources available, so bear with me. But, with that out of the way, this is the EDC Weekly. And another thing really quickly before we get started, if you submit your EDC and you share a picture with me, you got to share it. Actually, share it with me. Because I keep getting a lot of Google Drive links, but they're not actually shared with me. So when I go to access the file, I can't see it because it's not shared with me. I don't have permission. And I keep getting dead links for Dropbox. I keep getting a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't work. So if you're going to submit and you actually want a chance to be featured, just make sure that you're actually sharing the link that I can access. Make sure it's open to the public and all will be fine. Anyway, first up this week, we have a submission from someone who's already been featured. They were featured last month. It's Gary Weir one I couldn't do it last time. I can't do it this time. There you go. Anyway, you can find Gary on Instagram at Bjo Photography, and his EDC has changed quite a bit since last time, but man, this picture, I have to say, Gary, is leagues above the last one. It's really high quality, and when I actually click the link, I'm like, wow, that is, that is crystal clear. It is tack sharp, and it's really, really nice. So here we go. First up, the watch here is a Seiko SSC-017 Solar Watch, and on that, he has a brown leather NATO strap. He has a mini compass, which he says is unbranded, and his headphones of choice here are the Bose SoundSport Free. His phone that he uses is the LG V30 Plus, and he has an aluminum pin, which he also says is unbranded. The mechanical pencil you see here, which is very tiny, is the Muji Muji Micro Mechanical Pencil. It is very, very tiny. He carries a Maglite Solitaire as his flashlight, and the knife of choice here, or multi-tool, whichever you prefer, is the Victorinox Classic SD. There are two wallets featured here. One is a DIY leather trifold wallet, and the other is a DIY minimalist wooden wallet. Pretty simple setup, but it looks fantastic. Gary says, hi, I'm Gary. Hello, Gary. This is my minimalist brown-black EDC setup. Now, the main important point of this EDC is to have everything that I need to accomplish everyday tasks with, but without the bulk of my full-blown EDC setup. I'm an amateur photographer and also a bedroom recording guitarist. All of these items are being worn or put inside my pockets, so yes, these are pocket... Can't read. Can't read. So yes, these are pocket dump items. The watch is essential, not only for fashion, but actually time and activity, so I know how many minutes I spend on certain tasks with a chronograph. This is crucial for my work as I need to keep track of the time that I require to finish a client's product. The little compass is attached to my watch when I go on an adventure outdoors so I know where I'm heading. This is especially useful when I'm hiking or going to a remote place, far from civilization, usually landscape photo hunting. The Bose wireless earbuds are the best sounding wireless earbuds that I've ever come across. It sounds really nice and the level of clarity is just astonishing. I don't use it for exercising like what it's advertised to do, I just use it for casual music listening and to check the mix of my song recording. Yes, I record my own music. Do you do the car test or you mix it, put it on a CD and drive? Because I know that if you don't do that, you're failing. Maybe, I don't know. I learned that from a movie. What was it? Documentary maybe? It was a documentary. It was the one with uh, Eminem, about Eminem. That thing. HBO special. The Maglite flashlight really comes in handy when I need to simply light a scene for a quick photo snap or for providing lights to search for something under the office desk. The Victorinox is the centerpiece of my EDC. It helps me cut envelopes, open packages, screw loose tripod legs, eject the SIM card, etc. It's very small, it's very easy to carry in my pocket, and it's the very basic tools that I need to get the job done. I made my own wallets. The first one is the leather trifold. It's my preferred wallet, and I have it in both brown and black. It has slots for plenty of cards and cash, but I tried to keep the design as slim as possible, even when being filled to its maximum capacity. The second one is based on one of your tutorials. 
talking to me now, I guess. I added my own digital drawing to that wallet and made it look more pleasing aesthetically. What are you trying to say? Hmm? What, was mine not pleasing enough for you? Is a blatant piece of masonite not pretty enough? It's masonite. It doesn't need to be made more pretty. I'm kidding, but yours is really, really nice, actually. Just saying. That's all of my EDC items. I hope you enjoy my setup. Love the new Best Damn EDC channel. Thank you, Gary, and thank you for submitting again. You've been kind of on top of this since the very beginning, and I do thank you for your participation and for upping your game, man. And I really like that mechanical pencil. I started carrying a mechanical pencil in my camera bag, not on my EDC, but that one's really quite nice. I like it a lot. Anyway, thank you again for sharing. Gary, you now have a second entry into the July giveaway. This next submission really makes me want to take all of my cameras and throw them in the trash can because everything I've learned and everything I know, just, I can't do it. Not like this. I can't do it at this level. Not right now, and I don't know how long it will take me to get to that level. Anyway, this submission comes from Michael De Los Reyes. I shared this one over on Instagram, and it's just beautiful. It's very simple, but it's beautiful. First up here, we have the Apple iPhone 7 Plus, and he doesn't mention it, but I bet he carries it in a case similar to this one, because the next item is a Moment 18 millimeter wide lens. The card holder is a Yves Saint Laurent card holder, and his watch of choice is the Frederic Constant Dress Watch. He carries his Mini Cooper key fob, and then finally, he has a Kershaw Cryo 2 pocket knife. Like I said, very simple, not a lot to it, but it's beautiful, isn't it? It just is. But yes, as I was saying, this is the 18 millimeter moment lens he was talking about. I love this thing. I just don't use it nearly as much as I should. And to use it, you have to have a special case, which he's not showing here, so he's cheating. If he uses this every day, he's got to use something like this every day, and it just didn't fit the theme. Are you cheating? Are you cheating? You're cheating, aren't you? I know it. I got you. Busted. Anyway, he says, Hello there. As a photographer, I carry my phone for a quick snapshot of anything and everything that I think is interesting in my eyes. With the Moment Wide Lens, it gives any regular iPhone a new perspective or point of view so I don't leave my house without it. My card holder just makes it simple and easy to access all the cards I carry, which is not a lot. We live in a very high-tech world. Having my automatic Frederick Constant Watch gives me that enjoyment of not having to worry about running out of battery or needing to charge my watch. My Mini Cooper takes me wherever I need to go. Lastly, my Kershaw pocket knife. Do I need to say more? Thank you for doing this. I came across your YouTube channel and been enjoying it ever since. Keep it up. I hope you enjoy my EDC. Hit me up for any questions. Take care, Michael. And of course, I forgot to mention, you can find him on Instagram at Michael De Los Reyes Photography. That's his whole handle. It's kind of long, but it's also linked down below. And thank you, Michael. This really, yeah, up the ante, man. But I do think I got you. I think you're lying. I think you gotta have a case for that moment lens. Am I right? I'm right. I've taken some pictures that I'm proud of recently. They're mainly focusing on like one item. I did one for the Rovi Von Aurora flashlight. I did one for Amazon Prime Day where I focused on the Spyderco, which I'm carrying now. I'm carrying a Spyderco Tenacious, but the, the picture focuses on that. And I took another today actually with my brand new camera, which if you notice things look a little different today, that's because I'm recording the brand new camera. I got an A7R 3 today, really good deal. So I figured I'd put it to good use today for the EDC Weekly. So I hope this works out because the first time I tried to shoot anything with my A6500, it went a little crazy. I took those photos. I'm really proud of them. But even then, this, this is why I'm not a photographer. This is why I do video because this is exactly why. Anyway, thank you, Michael, for sharing your EDC. It is gorgeous. And you now have a second entry into the July giveaway, which reminds me, I don't think I've actually announced what the giveaway item is for this month because I still don't know. And I think I've got something that might work out but I'll let you know and not until next week. So the third and final submission this week actually also was featured on Instagram earlier this week. It got a ton of love from the people over on Instagram and it was so good that it actually inspired the guy who submitted it to create an Instagram account. So he didn't have one when he submitted and then now he does. The submission comes from Mike W and you can find him over on Instagram now at mechanicmike19. So here we go. First up is the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit X. And since it doesn't have a pocket clip, he added one and that is the Nitai's hip clip, which is technically for a smartphone. His wallet of choice is the Ugon. Ogon designs Stockholm V2 aluminum wallet, and on his wrist he wears a Victorinox Enox Professional Diver watch. His phone of choice is the Google Pixel 2 XL, and he carries that in a Google Fabric case in the concrete color. On his keychain, he has a generic keychain container, which you would use to carry pills or coins or other things like that, small items. 
And then he has a Victorinox Mini Champ A Locks. The pocket notebook here is the Moleskin Kaye. And the last two items here are kind of special the Road Ring 600 mechanical pencil and ballpoint pen. The reason those are special is because you can't get them anymore. He actually got them back in the 90s and he's still carrying them and they're out of production. You can get something similar, but if you find them, he says they're most likely made in Japan. He's probably better at this, so I'll let him tell it. Hey Taylor, this is my EDC. Just as I promised in the YouTube comment section, YouTube comments are legally binding, I hear. I don't know if that's true. I've been an industrial mechatronics engineer in the field for years. I'm 28. Now I'm behind the desk with infrequent trips to plants. My EDC adapted accordingly. The Swiss Tool Spirit acts as reliable and not too big. I've tried the bigger Swiss Tool and many Leathermans, but this one stuck with me. Added an eye ties hip clip. The watch is truly a tank of a watch. Not too small for my large wrist, but sophisticated enough and not too bulky to wear at a meeting or nice restaurant. When wearing a suit, I switch it out for a chronograph. My man. Not completely happy with the keychain and generic container. The container was really cheap and is not the best quality. Need to upgrade. Might get an Orbit key as well. Stuff I crammed in the thing. A short USB-C cable, USB-C and USB-A combo flash drive, toothpicks, eye drops, pills, band-aids, safety pins, Q-tips. That's a lot of stuff in there. Some of these items are rarely needed, but you can avoid a lot of discomfort carrying these when you actually end up needing them. Here we go. The pins are special to me. This set is at least 18 years old. They stopped production of these in the late 90s when they closed down the last remaining German factory. Some versions are still available, but made in Japan. The German made 600s are history. Outstanding full metal construction, matte chrome plated brass. I have the same exact set of pins sealed in original packaging, a prized possession, if you will. This way I don't feel too bad about using these artifacts every day. In conclusion, there will always be a better watch with a richer history, a more rare expensive pin, or a high-end custom knife that only a select few own. But I'm not about that. These items suit me more than a Mont Blanc fountain pen, too precious to use, or a golden Rolex that would look out of place on my person. You've said it before, EDC is a very personal and subjective thing. The variety makes it fun. Keep up the great work and all the best from Germany. Mike W, AKA Mechanic Mike. Thank you, Mechanic Mike, and I totally agree. It's the variety that makes EDC so cool. I don't like everything I see in everybody's EDC, but seeing how somebody carries something else changes my opinion, and ultimately, sometimes ends up me buying that and changing what I carry. I have changed my EDC at least six times since I started this. That's once per week, almost. I can't help it. You guys carry a lot of cool stuff. I see so many EDC submissions every single day, and I love it. I am deep into this now. It's probably driving Alex crazy, and I got no excuse. I enjoy it. I'm enjoying all of this, and thank you all for participating. It makes all of this worth it. So thank you, Mike, for sharing. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. And all of you, if you'd like to submit and you haven't done so, you have a few days left in this month. So go ahead and go to edcw.co and submit. All you do is go there, fill out the form, post a picture, which you just post a link to the picture, which some people are confused about. And if I like it, I'll pick it, feature it, and you'll get a second entry into the giveaway. But if you just submit, you get entered into the giveaway. That's it. That's all there is to it. And I just have to say thank you because we are almost at 150,000 views, over 7,000 subscribers. It's growing quickly every single day. The videos, some of them are blowing up. So all I can do is thank you guys because you're making it possible and that's, that's it. So if you do like what you see here, go ahead and click the links down below. Everything you see in these videos is always linked in the description. I spend a lot of time doing that, linking everything. Everything there is an affiliate link if possible, which links to Amazon or wherever you can buy the product. If you do, a lot of the times, it just gives us a little kickback. It doesn't charge you any extra. You don't pay anything extra. And a lot of the time I look for the cheapest price possible. And then it just gives us a little bit of a kickback. So if you like what you see, and you like what you see in the video, the items that other people carry, click through. If you buy it, it helps us, just know that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you've not done so already. And if you have and you haven't already hit the notification button, do that so you're notified when I upload because sometimes I upload at really odd hours. You can find the channel around the web or Best Damn EDC on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Taylor Martin. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Casper Tech. And of course, my second channel, Modern Outdoor Dweller, the main channel, is Modern Outdoor Dweller here on YouTube, but on Instagram and Twitter, it's Mod Outdoor. Everything is linked below always, always, always. So thank you all once again, and until next week, carry on.